today I'm having a bit of a wardrobe rejig, mainly taking out any summer bits, putting them away for the season, and putting all my autumn winter stuff on my rail, which as you can see has been a little bit neglected the last couple of months. When I originally went to go switch out all my summer um, items for winter items, I thought this would make a good video. I can show you some pieces that have been in my wardrobe for years, any staple item, talk about any new pieces that I have this year, and if all else fails, I feel like most people love a good organised video anyway. So let's move you a little closer. First things first, I think we just need to get everything off here. I love this skirt. This is from Monkey and I got it back in the summer. It's quite thick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this hung up. I have some skirts here. I'm going to pop these two skirts on my Depop because I just don't wear them. And then I'm going to keep this Topshop satiny one. It's really cold today, but on mild days, I think it's nice to wear maxi skirts with tights and boots and you can really layer them up. I have these two skirts. And then I also have this one, which is a new look number, fairly recent purchase. I really like that it's got a slit on one side of the skirt, which I think is much more flattering. Um, especially when you're wearing skirts with tights, it's nice to show a bit of leg when you're walking. I should be able to link this green floral one from monkey as well and i cannot tell you how excited i was when i discovered this skirt had pockets and pop those over there i have my lucy and yak dungarees which i'll pop in my chest of drawers kind of just wear these around the house and in the summer i can i wear them out and about i have a monkey play suit which is of course going in my wardrobe because it's far too chilly for that now i'm not going to go too much into my summer items because if you like this kind of video then i can do this again for spring summer i've got a stray stray belt for something got another summer dress i've got a play suit again can all go in my wardrobe i'm moving back because the lighting keeps going squiffy this is on my depot by the way um i love this dress it's just not the right shape for me i don't do v-necks and i've worn it once and i love it i just I just, I'm just not wearing it. I've got lots of summer tops. That is all the summer stuff. This is a new bag that I recently got from um, and other stories. It's pretty much the same as my um, my Kate Spade one, which I've had for years. But as I said in um, the vlog when I first showed this, I just wanted something that was bigger because when I'm, um, especially when I'm doing things like Vlogmas, I've always got my camera, my phone, and then I've got, I don't know, like a hat, some gloves. Sometimes when I don't want to carry a tote bag and I just want my crossbody bag, my Kate Spade one isn't big enough. Um, and this is a fairly good size, keep everything in comfortably. And it's just a classic black crossbody bag. So I'll keep that on here. I have this beret, which I bought maybe the year before last and i've never worn it because i have quite a big head and um hats don't tend to fit me um very easily but also i'm just not sure i can get away with a beret i probably can't get it on because of my hair but i'm going to keep it on there and if i don't wear it this winter i think it's probably time to give it a new home oh this jacket it's one of those jackets that i love and i've had on my um I've had on my rail for a good couple of years or so and I've never worn it so this is going on my team pop. I'm going to keep my Whistles rucksack on here, it's a good in betweeny rucksack and um, I think they still sell these, this is a pretty classic, they seem to have most years. I have this belt from, where's this from? Pretty sure I got this from Olive Clothing. This is my first acne scarf and i was so pleased when i got this it's um fairly skinny very soft don't know if you can see this but it is quite long it's definitely one that you can wrap around quite a few times and i'm probably going to say this a lot it's a it's a it's a classic piece to have in your wardrobe talking of scarves i have another acne one this was my birthday present last year from my mum i wanted this so bad and it had sold out everywhere i found it on some random website and i messaged my mum and said if you don't want to get this for my birthday that's totally fine but let me know because i will buy it myself and um she got it for my birthday christmas as a joint present this one's a lot shorter a little bit chunkier and it's got this kind of fluffy pill texture it's one of their collaborative 
designs and um, I love this so much such a perfect length um, especially because I'm not very tall I'm five five just I do find that the longer scarves are really long on me so this is a really good one without it being too bulky pop the grey one back there and then I'm just gonna pop the red one there for now because that's usually downstairs with my coat oh it's getting a bit sunny I don't need this jumper anymore and I have two here which are definitely going to go up on my Depop because they're just not really my style um, and shape anymore. I just don't really like to wear big oversized jumpers like this anymore so um, I'd rather give them to someone that's going to wear them. I have this People Tree cardigan which I got a couple of years ago. People Tree are a really lovely company. They're um, sustainable, ethical, their knitwear is handmade and I haven't worn this much but I'm really loving um, cardigans worn as jumpers at the moment. I will show you um, some cardigans that I have. So I have this one which I got at the beginning of this year from Free People but they still have plenty and this is one of those purchases that I'm so happy I made. Really comfy, really soft. I think they have these in a couple of colours and I love how versatile this is. Obviously being cream it goes with pretty much anything. It's one of those cardigans that I wore throughout the summer. If it was a bit chilly outside I'd pop it in my bag and now we're into autumn, almost winter and um, it's a really good piece to layer up. I also like to wear it done up and wear it as a jumper. I think it looks quite nice. If you really enjoy wearing cardigans like this and you can undo it a little bit at the top. It looks quite nice with a vest top. Apart from the fact it takes a long time to dry, it washes really well. I don't think it says to put it in the washing machine. Let me check. Yeah, it says to hand wash, but I would put it in the washing machine on a wall cycle with wall detergent and it's fine. You do need to dry it flat and what I have to do, kind of try and dry it flat over the radiator because otherwise this just doesn't dry because it's so thick. I don't like to hang this one up because it's quite heavy and I find that it um, misshapes the neckline a bit. So I'm just going to, again, pop it over the door for now. Another cardi that I have is from Monkey. I've actually been wearing this today. Again, it's a really nice basic cardi. I'm not sure which colours they have this in, whether this is the only colour they do or whether they do a few. This one's probably actually warmer than the Free People one, but it's thinner. So if you don't like really chunky knits, then um, maybe this one's a better one for you. And again, I like to wear it done up. If you can imagine it done up like that and just make sure you don't tuck in your t-shirt. I forgot to mention that I'll link everything I possibly can in the description. Things like these cardigans I definitely can and then any older items I will try and find similar things to. This is one I can hang up because um, it's not too heavy, it doesn't lose its shape too badly. These hangers are um, special knitwear hangers. Any of my really nice knitwear I actually put in my um, in my chest of drawers. These are to help deter moth touch wood i've had no problems with them here and because knitwear is so chunky i can't there's only so much you could fit into um a chest of drawers this is a weak people jumper which i've had a lot of wear out of but i'm gonna wash it and pop it on my depop as you can tell i'm on my final leg of getting rid of things from my wardrobe on my depop hence why so much is going on my depop t-shirts wise very quickly this one's from arquette they are really good for t-shirts i have a short sleeve version of this love it so much that i got the long sleeve version i really like that it's um kind of three quarter length find that quite flattering just showing a little bit of wrist this is from anthropology but i grabbed this because it was a really good boxy fit and i'm so picky with my t-shirts and oh yeah talking of stripy tees <laughs> I then have this one which is People Tree. I wore this a lot last winter because it's really thick. So those are my three stripy tees. And then this dress is from Urban Outfitters. I'm probably not going to keep this. It's lovely but I just don't wear it. And these will be good to kind of wear as, um, wear as skirts and layer over the top. The other two items left on here I have this gingham top which I wore laid underneath a jumper yesterday so I'm going to keep it on um, on here. It's quite a summery piece but it is handy that it's got long sleeves and um, it looks nice when you put a jumper over the top and then you roll the sleeves up and you can just kind of see the gingham a little bit. This is from MIH Jeans, I think that's how you um, meant to pronounce the brand. And this dress, you may have seen a lot in my vlogs and um, this is a denim and supply by Ralph, Ralph Lauren dress they're not around anymore 
they um, they stopped producing. Recently, over maybe the last year, I've been wearing it back to front because I prefer having a high neckline. You can't tell too much unless you have an eye for things like this and then you could probably tell I'm wearing it backwards. It's just such a gorgeous dress and um, I tend to wear this more in the winter because I like to wear a jumper over the top and just have it as a skirt. Definitely keeping this one out. Let's show you some more knitwear. The piece that's had a lot of attention recently is this purple number from And Other Stories. It's not normally something I would go for, um, I wouldn't usually go for purple, but there was something about this that I just loved and it's so chunky and so warm and I really like to wear it with just um, some black jeans like I have on today. I'm not going to lie, it is, um, it is fairly itchy. It's something I get used to, itchy knitwear, but if it's something that really bothers you, I find that And Other Stories knitwear in general is just all quite itchy but it's not too bad if you have a long tee underneath if you're looking for something around the same price point that's not itchy i would maybe try whistles so this is a whistles piece it is so soft and i think i could even wear this with just a bra underneath and i'd be fairly comfortable i was drawn towards this because it's got slits down the side and i thought that was quite different and it just um gave a different look to a lot of my jumpers and again it's boxy um which is my favorite cut in jumpers and the colour it's so hard to find a good orangey red colour I need more hangers got more jumpers because <laughs> I might as well just show you show you everything I've run out of hangers so I'm going to have to just use my metal ones for now and then put whatever I can in my um, wardrobe it's a fairly old Topshop boutique piece um, that I got back in I got it just before I fell pregnant with Delilah. So that would have been 2015. A piece that's been in my wardrobe that I just haven't worn. I was going to get rid of it this year but I actually really like it. I just wish it was slightly shorter. I don't know if there's a way of making this shorter. I just don't like how long it is on me. But the actual jumper itself I really love. Looking forward to wearing that. This is a people tree piece which I've had for a couple of years. I really need to get a debobbler and debubble some of these. I've been chatting so long I need to change the battery. I thought I'd mention this one because it's a jumper I've had for almost 10 years now. It's the tattiest thing from Topshop. Um, I bought it when I was 17. It's just my go-to comfort jumper. <laughs> it's just so comfy, so big and oversized. It's just a, a navy cable knit jumper. When I'm having days where I, I just want to feel really, really comforted i just like wearing this this i'll just pop in my drawers another piece of knitwear that i i bought this year which is definitely softer than the other and other, and other stories jumper is this knitted hoodie i saw a knitted hoodie from arquette and it was cashmere and it was very expensive i found this from and other stories and it was half the price it's still fairly pricey and some of you were asking me if there was a, a more affordable alternative and i found one the other day can't remember where it was from I'm gonna have to find it, but if I can find it, I'll put it, I'll put it in the description. It was either ASOS or Topshop or somewhere. I'm gonna pop this in my drawers. In here is where I have all my other knitwear. I'm going to take this one out, because it takes up so much room, and I'm just gonna put it in my wardrobe. This is from Selected Femme, and um, I got so much slack when I bought this, because people either loved it or they hated it. It is the most oversized, chunky, cardigan but i love it it's a real it's a real kind of statement piece so chunky and so cozy so definitely keeping this but that will have to go in my wardrobe this is probably the only oversized jumper that i still wear it's from all saints i got this a couple of years ago it looks good tucked into jeans i usually just tuck it in a little bit otherwise it's really oversized it looks really good with my coat which i'll show you in a second this was my first ever Splurge. I remember back in the Tumblr days, I would see a lot of acne in All Saints and I remember thinking, oh, one day I'll have an acne jumper. It's a really good shape neckline, it's a boxy fit, striped obviously. It's stretched out quite a bit, it needs to have um, a dry clean too. This has to be one of the warmest jumpers I own, it is so toasty. And the great thing about um, knitwear like this is that I find you don't, it just it never smells, it just always smells clean. I've worn this for a few winters now. Do not regret buying it, love it. I have a lot of knitwear. Um, this is People Tree again, and I got this last year because I wanted a very classic Christmassy 
jumper and um, and again then it wear is always very warm this is a play suit which i'm gonna hang up this i've had in my wardrobe for um for years most of you are probably sick of seeing this because i have worn this year after year after year this comes out every autumn winter i really like to wear it as trousers and then i put a jumper over the top and this year i've been really loving putting that cream cable knit free people cardigan over the top i love the print and um, it makes a change to wearing jeans this is a free people knit and this is a good kind of throw over i will show you some accessories shoes coats and i think we're done these are usually downstairs they're very muddy they need a bit of a clean these are my chelsea boots if you've been watching my channel for even just a year or so you'll know that um chelsea boots are a staple in my wardrobe all year round and um, not so much the, the last couple of summers that have just gone but i used to wear um ankle boots even throughout the summer on the hottest days as well um, i just like the look of them i bought these last year from muscle and bromley these are my first proper proper boot because for years i was just going through lots of top shop boots and they would last me about a year and then they would just fall apart and although you can see that the heel's worn down the actual shoe itself has stayed intact and i wear these a lot and then probably next year or the year after i'll just get them rehealed. and then apart from my converse which are the tra my trainer of choice i have these docks i almost rehomed these a year or two ago until it snowed and i forgot how useful these are when it snows it doesn't snow often but when it does the only shoes that i can walk in snow with are my docks and they also keep my feet super warm because they're fleece lined as well and i wore these today because it was minus three when we left the house this morning on my wish list are some fleece lined chelsea docks as you know i wear chelsea boots a lot um but these don't keep my feet very warm and i'm really after a pair of um ankle socks that are thin enough to wear with my boots but warm enough to um keep my feet warm in the winter but for now i've got these and i'm gonna stick those underneath here move, move my watering can my cheese plant is growing like crazy i don't know if you can see all these aerial roots We've got loads of aerial roots making their way round my rail. I don't quite know what to do with them all. Actually, I'm wearing these today, so I'll keep those out and I'll just put my Chelsea boots there. I have my staple classic coats now that this year I really want to find. Well, even more of a smarter coat. So I do have a long black coat. It's quite bulky, I'd like a more slimline one. I'd also like a bit more of a fun coat, either one that's um, a lighter colour, beige or grey, um, or I'd like a checked coat. Without a doubt, my most worn coat has to be this, selected, so, mm, why say selected femme? Yeah, selected femme. I don't know how much you can see of it in here. It keeps me really warm, it looks nice with jeans, dresses, skirts. It's a classic aviator style sherlin coat and this has definitely been my most worn coat the last um year this is my second winter of wearing it and i've worn it loads already my other coat is from whistles again i kept it i got this uh, two years ago this is my third winter with this these are my first kind of investment piece um items and um i wanted to play it safe so i wanted to wear them lots i wanted to get good cost per wear whistles do some lovely coats got a slit at the back nice big pocket and it's quite nice worn open quite a thick texture to it it does need quite a bit of maintenance so, um you need to go through it with a um a special wool comb actually quite practical when it's raining because it covers my legs and stops my legs getting soaked what i'm gonna do is i'm wearing this coat today so i'm gonna pop this coat on the back of my door and then this is my all saints jacket which i treated myself to a few years ago now and it has been worn you can see that it's um been very loved is there something i can do about this worn away leather obviously i can't fix that but is there some kind of clothes what would you call it is there some kind of shoe varnish shoe varnish equivalent for clothing that's all that's obviously not going to rub off onto your other clothes i don't know there's somewhere i can take it for them to give it a little bit of a a zhuzh this is a, again a classic staple all year round for me i'll keep it out because um i'll still wear it just not as much because it's colder at the moment and obviously i'm gonna wear my coats and um, it's still good if you just run into the shop so i've got a specific outfit i want to wear this with pop that there oh one last 
jacket I have is this. I got this last year. This is Free People. I wore it loads last year when I got it. I've been thinking of getting it tailored. So what I'm going to do is ask the um, seamstress I go to to um, round, this is really specific and probably me being really picky. I want him to round um, the collar off and pop another button up here so that I can do it up from the top. And this is another good piece to layer. I'm just gonna pop that on there as well. I tend to keep everything up here and then dependent on the day or the week and what I'm wearing, certain things will end up living downstairs for a day or two or the week. And I just kind of swap like shoes and coats around. Oh, he's looking far more organised now. The only other things I have to show are hats. I love a good bubble hat because my ears get very chilly. I have a real problem with, even in the summer when it's windy, a huge headache. I'm like really like painful, um, painful headache. And it goes into my eyes and it's just not pleasant. And so I have to, I have to wear beanies. I have, again, this one needs to be debobbled. Um, I have this one from Arkit and this one from Arkit. I bought these about a year ago and I've worn them a ton and I just keep them under here in the basket. The only other things I can think to show you because I had a few questions about it on my Instagram stories is this t-shirt. It is short sleeved but again it's good to layer underneath jumpers. This is from Anthropology. This is a Beatles t-shirt. I'm a huge fan of the Beatles. I don't have many band tees um, because I only really want to wear band, te band tees or bands that I that I genuinely like and I don't have a problem with people wearing band tees when they don't listen to the band. That's their, like they can, whatever, I don't, I don't mind. But personally, I may like the look of a Joy Division top or I don't know, a Death Leopard top or something, but I don't listen to them, so I just feel a bit silly wearing them. But like I said, it doesn't, it doesn't mean I judge anyone who wears panties when they don't listen to the band. But I do love the Beatles, so when I saw this, I was like, oh yes, I've got to, I've got to get this one, um, because I quite like a good slogan or band tee. So yeah, that's Anthropology, I can link that. And guys, that is it. I feel like I should put this hat and bag away, but I don't really have anywhere to put them. So I'm just gonna leave them there, even though I feel a bit silly having a straw bag and a straw hat out in November. This is making my brain very happy right now. How much more organized does that look? I'm very pleased with that. Oh, the only thing I haven't shown you um, are jeans. I live in jeans um, all year round. The ones that I've been wearing lots at the moment, I'm not gonna be able to show you, am I? The ones I've been wearing lots at the moment are these ones from Topshop. Um, I can't remember the style of them but they're very comfy i like the raw hem on the bottom and i've ordered some rib cage le some levi rib cage style jeans in um sort of a, a mid to dark wash denim hoping the levi's would be slightly baggier on the leg and um, be a little bit longer so i can wear them over boots rather than have my ankle exposed all winter because i get very cold ankles this is making me very happy finally a nice organized clothes rail however i do now need to go off and sort out the aftermath. Not often I do fashion fashion videos anymore. My wardrobe's pretty much the same year to year and there's pieces that I wear again and again. So although I won't really be doing any styling videos in the future like I used to in the uh, in the old school fashion rocks and the socks days, it'll be nice to do stuff like this every season or just like show you some new updated bits here and there. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.